Hello and thank you for joining for my first of hopefully many American Truck Simulator tutorials. This one's going to be how to set up American Truck Simulator with VR. So to start, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Steam. You're going to go to your library and you're going to locate somewhere in your games menu here, American Truck Simulator. You want to right click on it and there's going to be a drop down menu that says properties. Under properties, you're going to have general. And down to the bottom here, you're going to have advanced users may choose modifications to launch their options or launch options. In that menu, you're going to want to type dash open VR. No spaces, just the dash in front. So from there, once that's saved in there, go to betas. And instead of having none selected, you want to select Oculus and open VR. Whatever the latest version is, you want to select that. Now we need to change some settings in a config file under your documents. So to find your config file, just go to this PC, Documents, American Truck Simulator. It's going to be pretty near the bottom of this, this file here, so just go ahead and um, right click on it and open it with Notepad. So inside Notepad, there's a lot of settings here, but don't worry, we're not looking at most of those. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the Open VR Mirror Mode, and I set that to one. The difference between the default, which is zero, and one, zero is going to display on either the desktop or the VR headset. One is going to display on both of them at once, but the desktop is going to do like a dual display, and you'll see that here near the end of the video because it's showing what both eyes are seeing. The second option, I just recommend leaving that at zero. And then for your third option that you're gonna change in here, uh, you're gonna change after you've played in VR a little bit, but it's called stereo buffer, stereo underscore buffer. So just use the find option with control F and type in stereo underscore buffer, find next. And it's gonna bring you to this setting here. And what that's going to change is how good the game looks. So this is all dependent on what your PC hardware can handle. Change this in increments of 0.1 and just keep going up until it can't handle it anymore and then bring it back a little bit. So then make sure to press Control S to save that. Close out of it. And now we're ready to launch American Truck Simulator and play it in VR. It's gonna open up VR automatically for us. And make sure to throw on your headset at this point as well. You might have to tab over to it a few times because it does like like to take you out of it. There's that double image that I was talking about that you can already see. So we're going to uh, get into the game, hit continue game so that we can get into a truck. A few things to note as well um, when getting in here. There's two buttons you have to worry about on your keyboard that control your headset. F11 and F12. F12 is going to recenter your headset tracking so that if you end up like drifting off one way or another, you can recenter yourself inside your truck cab, which is super helpful. The other one is F11, which is going to toggle between desktop mode and VR mode. So the VR mode is going to display in the headset and use the headset tracking. Desktop mode is going to display on the desktop and have no headset tracking. So right now I've got the headset tracking. I can look around. This game is essentially ready to go in VR. Uh, but you might have to press F11 to toggle that. It only works in a menu though. So if I go back to the menu, you can see that's showing one display. That's desktop mode. Now it's showing both eyes and I have headset tracking. So that's VR mode. And then the recentering just simply works like this. You press F12 and it's going to keep putting you back where you're supposed to be and recenter you. So other than that, that's about it for, for VR. I'm going to add a little extra tidbit for those who might be streaming this game. Um, 
setting up OBS can be a little bit on the complicated side, unless you want to just use the the display um, that Steam VR gladly gives you. You can do that too, and that will show pretty flawlessly, unless you want to have like OVR toolkit open or something, and you don't want your viewers to see your chat. So how you're going to go about on adding a window is you want to go up to game capture and your, your sources here, your capture sources, and you're going to uh, create a new one. I'm just going to call it test because I've already got one set up for American Truck Simulator. And you're going to do a specific window, window capture. You want to capture American Truck Simulator. I'm going to bring it up here. You're going to see the two. And this does not bring a pleasant viewing experience. So then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the window that you want to edit. And in this case, it's going to be the American Truck Simulator capture. You want to go to transform, go down to stretch to screen, or you can just press control S. And you're going to stretch it until that middle point reaches the right hand side of your capture window. Right there. You're noticing right now that it's a little distorted. Now, what I do is I just stretch it until it looks just about normal. And then I replace the window wherever I feel like it should fit. So I'm going to put it right there. And if I hop back into the game, you're going to see that right there. And it looks a lot more natural, a lot more normal than having two displays next to each other. It does crop it down a little bit, top and bottom. But for the most part, I think most people are not even going to miss it. So thank you very much for watching this quick tutorial. I hope it helps you out a lot. And I hope you stay around and see some of the other tutorials I have to come in the future.